uh, well, to any any of you, I guess, um, with your lesson planning, how much effort input do you did you do to get your your lesson plans ready for your classes? And did you do them like in weekly blocks, or did you do it on a daily basis or semester basis? Or because I guess we're still very new to it, so we don't know. Yeah, I sort of started out with lesson plans, and then I sort of moved on to unit plans. Right. And sort of had a had a sort of. You know, if a kid's a year seven group would make, say, a, um, a pull along toy or something, they'd start out with a design brief, and that's what they get the first part of the year, and then they'd just, uh, they'd just break it down. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd have a random idea of how long the last year took, or how long I reckon it will take um, to, for a year seven group to make it, and I'd sort of plan for it to be that long, so that maybe three double periods or four double periods. So, yeah, so I started out a lesson plan, then a unit plan, so. That's how I found it much easier. Yeah. First thing I did, like, when you go out there into to your your school and you find out what subjects you're teaching, have a look at someone else who's teaching the same subject or the same unit, and work hand in hand with them. If they, I mean, they, most teachers are, are there to teach, and we're there to learn, so they'll help you. Um, first thing I did was that is I pretty much went subject to subject, pretty much lesson, 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 lesson with another teacher in that same unit or that same subject. Once you get more confident about what you're doing and how you go about things, their lesson style or their lesson planning might not suit you. So that's when you start doing your own sort of thing. Um, follow your curriculum. What you need to get done doesn't need to be necessarily mean that. Um, they might say, you need to do all these things, um, for example, in, in maths. You need to get through all these subjects. My theory is, if they don't know how to do fractions, they don't go on to the next bit. Let them learn what they need to learn properly and first before they move on to the next bit. Um, but yeah, I think hand in hand first up. It really helps. Yeah. I think for my lesson plans, at the start of my teaching career, I, they were very detailed. And I, as I teach, I cross them off and say, oh, I've done that, I've done that. I used to always have like an introduction and a body and a conclusion to the lesson. And I used to find that I never got to the conclusion, which was like the sharing of what the kids had made or what, we, what we'd been looking at. Um, so I had to break, I sort of broke down what my intro was, making sure that we fitted in the time allocation for the body and then we got to the conclusion. I think the conclusion is an important part of the lesson. The kids develop the routine and structure in, a, in the lesson if you do it that way. Um, and now this year I've done less detail in my actual lesson plans. I still do up a lesson plan. Sometimes I don't even look at it. It's sitting there in the kitchen somewhere. I don't even look at it. So it's up to the individual, I think. Thanks.